guys, Karen here with another video. Welcome back to our channel and thank you so much for watching. I'm still trying to figure out where to look. Okay, so it's Thursday. And as you can see from the pictures in the thumbnail, um, so I have been showing some interest in just a little bit of copper. I think I really like the aesthetic of it you know what it looks like to the eye and so I've just been taking some time to look through all of the different types of copper pieces um, and then I noticed that William Sonoma is having a sale on some of its copper so I thought I would share that with you guys um, for all of you all who use copper please let me know in the comments below you know what's your favorite piece what's your favorite brand um, yeah I'm really kind of researching it now so currently all I'm looking for is like a, maybe a saucepan or you know just um, a saucepan or one of those gratin pans that's about it I'm not you know I'm, I'm not trying to get super deep into it because I do like cast iron and also I'm not familiar with copper I just know like growing up my mom had copper pots on the wall in the kitchen but we did not use them for cooking <laughs> we didn't use them for cooking we used they were on the wall beautiful aesthetic but we just didn't use them for cooking as a matter of fact i didn't even know that they were used for cooking until i was you know like a teenager or something um, am I the only one like that? But yeah, I, I was very naive. I did not realize that copper was something that you actually used in the kitchen. I just thought it was decoration. Seriously. Seriously. You know. But with that said, by the way, hello to all of our new subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. We hope that you um, enjoy it here and just welcome to the fam. We appreciate you. And uh, so let's get right into it. So everything that I found was on williamsonoma.com um, and uh, Maya currently works at William Sonoma. So I have a little ear to the ground in terms of all of the great pieces and things that are there. And she shares all of that with me as well. So she's always like, mom, check this out. So, you know, um, I have been doing that. And sometimes I'm like, please don't tell me anything else. But this first piece is Raffoni. Raffoni, I know it's an Italian brand because Raffoni Historia um, is, works in tandem with William Sonoma um, in order to create this copper piece. So they work together so William Sonoma sells it under their name so I saw that in the description so I was paying attention to that but this is a hammered copper oval gratin pan absolutely gorgeous um, $240 um, it's oven safe up to 425 degrees it's made in Italy it's two and one fourth quarts so that's how much it holds it's absolutely beautiful so it's um it has acorn handles that's what they're called um let me know for those who know everything about copper please school me in the comments below i love information um you know and i would like to know what is the difference why does the copper cost so much um you know and I mean but it's absolutely beautiful so I'm trying to figure out what would I actually make in that and this is something along the lines that I would like to have in the kitchen you know nothing too too I don't want anything super big but this was right up my alley so I really clicked on this right away next up we have the all clad C2 copper sawtooth in three quarts so it was $299.95 it is now two hundred and thirty nine dollars and ninety nine cents um, this you know comes with the lid and what have you um, you they prefer that you hand wash the item the um, lid can go in the dishwasher the lid is dishwasher safe but the the actual pan itself uh, the sawtooth itself without the lid needs to be hand washed um, and they also recommend that you allow the pan to cool before washing 
Um, this is oven and broiler safe up to 600 degrees. Um, but once again, I never knew that copper pans also created a sawtooth and this can hold three quarts. So, um, you know, this is absolutely gorgeous. And once again, you could pick this up at Williams Sonoma. This is also on sale. Um, you know, the holidays are coming up and we're looking at gifts to give and what have you. This may be a gift that you want to um, give someone that you know really enjoys cooking. Um, hint, hint to the hoster who's watching. I see you. <laughs> you know, um, yeah, but you know, if you're looking for a gift to give to that person who enjoys cooking, this might be up your alley. If you're looking for something for yourself, something simple, um, and you want to start off with some um, copper, in the, um, what is it, the reviews, people were saying this was one of the easiest pots to start off with. So I totally took that into consideration when putting this on the list as well. But my favorite piece out of all of these so far was the William Sonoma Hammered Copper Cataplana. It's $149.95. This is absolutely gorgeous. So the this item is good for seafood, for chicken and curry dishes. Um, but I'm thinking like you could probably saute your veggies in here. It's a traditional pan used in Portugal to make paella. Um, it slow cooks the food. It's 11 and one half in diameter, 11 and a half inches in diameter, six and three fourths inches high when the lid is closed. It distributes heat quickly and evenly throughout so that your food is cooked all together. Like I said, it's $149.95. Isn't this gorgeous, guys? Look at that. Look at that. That is absolutely gorgeous. And I love the way it has a seashell sort of opening. Um, kind of like, you know, that's, to me, that was so cool. But absolutely, you know, this would make a good gift too. This would make, um, if it's your first time cooking with copper or my first time cooking with copper, this makes a good gift as well. And it's not as pricey as the other one. We have the William Sonoma Thermoclad Copper Fry Pan. The, uh, so there's two sizes. The 10 inch size is $250. The 12 inch is $300. Um, it's made from 1.2 millimeter gauge copper. It's stainless steel lining on the inside. It's oven safe up to 450 degrees and it is handcrafted in Italy. If you're looking for a copper pan, this one is really, really nice as well. That's why I added it to the list. Um, and it's the Williams Sonoma brand, which makes it less expensive than some of the other ones that I saw. But if you have a copper fry pan, please let us all know in the comments below how you use it, how often you use it, and what dishes do you use it for most often. Does it scramble eggs well? I mean, but would I use a copper pan to scramble eggs? I don't know, actually, because it's so pretty. I'm not sure. Hmm. Just let me know. Do you do you use it for, you know, what, what things do you use it for? Inquiring minds would like to know. <laughs> Next up, we have the Muriel M M M Muvel. Forgive me if I'm saying that incorrectly. This is a French brand of copper. Um, and it's saucepans. These are made in France, stainless steel interior, um, domed lid to circulate heat and lock in moisture. They go from one and one fourth quarts to three and a half quarts. The prices range anywhere from $249.95 to $440. No, $440. Um, these are absolutely gorgeous. When I saw them all stacked up, um, it reminds me of some of the kitchens that I've seen. First off, there's a, um, a Rabbit Hill kitchen. Um, if you look that up, she has a beautiful uh, stack of La Crusade as well as a whole set of copper pans and whatnot. And there's another Shavonda Gardner on Instagram. She also has La Crusade as well as copper pots. So I was like, hmm, I'm gonna have to look into this beautiful beautiful aesthetics um maybe i should put some pictures in here of 
of the different um, types of things there that I saw online of people who were using both cast iron and copper. It seems like it's, you know, you it, it's almost like they do very well together. If you have a cast iron kitchen, you know, the copper works in there, you know, kind of seamlessly, you know, from what I'm seeing. So definitely I was like, maybe I could add a saucepan and um, the, what was it called again? The, um, the au uh, gratin, oval au uh, gratin uh, uh, pan as well. I was like, those two things that, you know, I'm gonna put them on my wish list for next year. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then last but, last but not least is the Raffoni Historia, Historia, the Raffoni Historia hammered copper stock pot with vine handle. It's $520 and it holds 12 quarts. Um, I'm not in the market for a stock pot, but this might convince me. This is gorgeous, just gorgeous. Um, and this was the only size that it came in. Um, but let me know for sure. Like, what do you guys think of the different brands here? The, so it was the Raffoni Historium, you had the Marvell, you had all, all clad, and you have the William Sonoma brands. If you're a copper buyer, let me know in the comments below. Also, if you if your kitchen, if you're cooking constant with copper, what are the things that you're making? How often do you use your pots? Um, and what are some good recipes to use the copper pots for? And granted, if you're using copper pots all the time, these may sound like silly questions, but I've never cooked with copper uh, pots before. So, you know, I, I, you know, the, I just like the aesthetic of them. And I was like, you know, a little saucepan never hurt anybody. <laughs> just a little saucepan. In terms of getting anything else, I, I think I'm cool with, um, you know, Le Creuset adding a little bit of stove here and there and maybe a little copper pot here and there. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!